if I'm in view or not, but let's hope so. Megan will let us know as soon as she gets over here. Welcome. It's You're week, in view. It's week 23. Week 23. We Megan asked today, uh, when are we done with the Basement Chronicles? To be fair, I asked that the first week. I know. <laughs> yes, you did. Maybe never. Welcome. I am Lynn, and we are Ellen J. Goods here in Medina, New York. Thank you for joining us. Every week we're going live on Wednesdays to um, tr hopefully help to clear out our basement so that I can reclaim my upholstery area. So uh, we, we've got um, five months to go, and <laughs> that means um, five times, uh, yeah, we've got... 20 more 20 let's try more. to be in the moment <laughs> okay <laughs> yes we'll be in the moment so um today i made my husband really happy not because this is a man cave project no but because this um metal uh piece right here um i'll show you a little bit later when when i can switch the camera at a good time this has wheels on the bottom, it has a beautiful big deep sink, and it has a drain hole with the hose attached. So it's some kind of a, um, a cooler thing. JR, what would you call this? What would this have been? A wash tub? Possibly. Possibly a wash tub, but a really cool shape. And we picked this we picked this up where in wisconsin i think and he looked at me again like i was crazy for wanting this and so still i am <laughs> it's been down here for how many years like three years probably at least yeah so um i just thought well we're going to do something cool with this i it's the inside of it is clean and nice and it would make a nice like picnic outdoor cooler but um decoupage queen released uh a few weeks ago the andy skinner collection which definitely has a much more rustic vibe to it um very industrial rustic and so i think today we're going to try to utilize some of these papers um and kind of layer them up a little bit and add to this really cool rusted effect very cool mom Thank you, Megan. I appreciate that. Who do we have watching with us today? Oh, well, I don't know. I can only tell you the people that are telling me they're here. I can't tell you about those who remain mystery. But we've got Sharon, Catherine, Deborah, Susan, Stephanie, Mary Jo, who is just finished laying out an inlay on four drawer chests. <gasps> nice. Lisa, Tina, Jan, Joanne, who caught us live for the first time in a while. Oh, I thought that was wet. <laughs> okay, so there was an arrow pointing to that. Oh, no, it's all wet paint. See? So we have lots of girls watching, all of our regulars, and those of you that are lurking in the background, I would say. You're talking about me? Yeah, you are a lurker. Oh, my gosh. Um, anyway, um, we have, um, I'm going to show you some of these awesome papers. And I just think that they're perfect for, for this. And we're gonna kind of take them apart and then put them back together on this piece to create a really cool, cool cooler. Okay. <laughs> hey, Leah, hey, Jeanette. Especially since, well, let me see, like, um, hey, Denise. What is that called when you go to the games and you take, Oh, what is it? Football season is coming. Tailgating, right? Not that you would take a big metal cooler I with you, no. But um, but yeah, I'm just trying to say like manly words. Is that I'm what's going kind on here? of, okay. kind of, and I'm totally out of my comfort Quick zone. Quick question: Did yeah. you take all those papers out of inventory, or are those no? The ones I ordered these specifically okay. for this project, Megan. So um, I really, I really am digging this a lot. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of a way to kind of preserve a little bit of that kind of rusted look down at the bottom. And I'll tell you, I I'm not big into the, like the Las Vegas sign here. What do you think, Megan? I love it. You do? Yeah. I mean, I think that's the kitschy part of it. That I it love, is kitschy. Yeah. You, that could easily be cut out and like added somewhere else. Would Would a guy like it? 
know, guy. I don't. I'm not. I don't think that way, really. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, but yeah, certainly, guys love Las Vegas. But Denver. I think it needs to be up toward the top versus the mm -hmm. bottom. But like I said, you can always cut that out and layer it in another spot. The that's, sign part of it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we're just gonna we're gonna see what we got here. Um, but these papers are awesome, and I and they do all kind of work together. So I think I'd like to have some of maybe some of this down at the bottom, and or or this one, maybe this one because it's got the darker reds and yeah. Oh, Leah, we'll, Leah would omit the Las Vegas sign. Would she you? hates it. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say that. I'm just oh, teasing. No. But you know what? I think just for ease of you know. I'm gonna leave it on there. Do you want me to go back so they can see the whole thing, sure. or do you want to stay yeah, in the image? No, you can go. You can. No, I don't need to stay in the image. So when we're working with rice papers, um, I'm going to remove this top edge here, um, and and my side edges just by wetting it with a little bit of water. And the other thing is, because I'm already working on kind of a rusty background, I think this just kind of blends right into it. Okay. So we're gonna get that off of there, but let's, hey, you know what? Here's something really neat. Um, these guys, oh no, not something really neat. I totally lost my train of thought. Ah! Just um, let me know if you need me to zoom. Do you want me to zoom in on what you're doing now? I don't think so. I mean, unless people ask you to see closer. Um, so she's just kind of tearing the edge to make like a raw edge. Right. So the easiest way to do that is by dipping a brush in a little bit of water and then pulling. It's called a wet distress, right? No. If you did already say that, then. No, it's not. Oh, not wet it. distress. I'm sorry. Uh, what is the word that Mary like uses? Like a, a wet cut? I, I don't know. What do, what she had a term for it, I swear, when I first started to do it, but I could be forgetting. Yep. I could be remembering. Mm -hmm. So Anyway, it's cool. I, I dragged this out of the back this morning, and we cleaned it up, and then JR took it outside, and because it has rust on it, we sprayed it with some uh, shellac. We, we sprayed it with bin shellac. You could use a rust-oleum, um, whatever you want. We definitely want to inhibit this rust. So Sharon, I think she's doing it that way. Mom, correct me if I'm wrong. She asked why you're laying it in that direction instead of the other way where the whole image can be seen because I think she wants to like, use some of these other pa papers and still show some of the yes. rust. Well, here's why. When you look at it, it's like that. So we don't want to put the car upside down, right? We don't want to put it sideways. You'd be driving straight to hell. Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the opening, highway to hell. The opening is here, Sharon. It's here at the top. So um, I don't want to tip this right now, but this is the way that you would see it as when it stands up, okay? I think that was a funny joke. But... What? If it went the other way, you'd be on the highway to hell. Oh. But it's got, I mean, it's got some really cool, like there's a Route 66 there, and heaven forbid if this doesn't sell and I end up with this on my beautiful little cottage deck, I'm probably going to scream. <laughs> I've never seen you put something on your cottage deck because it didn't sell, that you didn't like. That's true. That or that true. didn't match. Yep. But when, you know, rice paper is a little fibrous and it makes it really easy to blend into backgrounds and to blend into other rice papers. Smart. Mary Jo said she has a double tub like that. We filled it with ice and drinks when we had outdoor gatherings. She hasn't used it for years. It'd be a perfect makeover for selling. It. Wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. It'd be so fun. Or for continuing it to use it the way you did. Yeah, exactly. I mean, remember when the dump, the wash basins were so hot? I mean, we used to pick them up and, and we used to buy them like crazy. And then all of a sudden, you couldn't find them anymore. Unless they were kind of a ridiculous price. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going, shaping around this wheel and kind of creating a little bit of a, an effect here. 
like a rough kind of effect so that I can easily blend my other papers into this. And I don't have just one straight edge on the bottom. What's everybody up to today? Hey, Kim. Well, I told you. Well, well I know, Mary. Mary Jo is making something. Jeanette's watching while she's finishing up lunch at work. Oh, that's nice. Everybody else seems to be just focusing on you. Well, it's what I'm doing, actually. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, see how I created uh, something that's going to be a little bit easier to blend. And I'm definitely going to bring this over here. We want that car to be kind of front and center. And I'm going to tape this in place. My back is going to be killing me by the time I'm done with this. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a tape here to hold it in place while I figure out the bottom. Leah and is sewing bead details on felt gingerbread men. Oh, Leah. Are you gonna bring them to show hey, Carla? Us? Of course she will. All right, so let's kind of look down here, excuse me, to see how I want that. I love that big, like number 89. So I think I want to, um, I want that on there. Oh. Jane, you did not miss the chit chat. We didn't talk about the wedding, but it was so fun. Good. Dance the night away. I love to dance and I'm too old to go to a club. So what I like is a wedding reception. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking you were going to a wedding in Pennsylvania this weekend. No, I because I had a wedding on Friday. Yes, that's right. At Albright Knox. Oh, was it at Albright Knox? Yeah. What a beautiful setting. It was beautiful. It was in the Rose Gardens outside. <gasps> oh. Yep, it was so fun. That's cool. So I, again, I'm just tearing off. Linda, you're laying on a heating pad in the heat. No. Are you hurting? Linda. Okay. I'm, I'm really, um, I'm looking at this, I'm kind of thinking, oh, this is almost going to be a perfect fit. I'm looking at the way the pattern is laying out. Oh, yeah. And how that's going to fit right up there yeah. with some similar color, right? So cool. Would any of your boys put this in a man cave? Yeah, I don't, they don't. My house is a man cave. So. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right, it is. <sighs> so let's lay <laughs> that here. <laughs> You're right. Uh, one funny thing I just remembered happened at the wedding. So, David, my husband, thank God, is a he is actually a really good dancer and we have a lot of fun dancing together. And at one point he was doing some crazy dance moves and everyone was like circling around him and screaming, <laughs> screaming for him. And I cheered, you know, I was like, great. And he's like, wasn't that so funny the next day? And I was like, yeah, you're, you're so cute. And he, it was revealed to me that what I didn't see is that he had one of his friends on either side of him using an invisible jump rope, and he was oh. pretending to jump over it, and I thought he was awesome. just dancing like that. Uh -huh. And my husband is a big dude. He's, He's a six very four, big dude. So it's even more great that he can dance well, thank God, because it could be really awkward if he didn't, but... Yeah. Um, anyway, he was jumping like that, and it was... I thought he was just dancing like that. So, yeah, I, I kind of like this happening. I feel like the darkness should be to the right. Am I wrong? I'll go well, farther. I've got more. I've got more darkness. I've got more. But I'm okay. Gonna... Sorry, I don't know why I thought you were putting this one in there. I have more. Jamie's making jewelry. Nice. What kind of jewelry? Raise your hand. Let me know. Would a husband or the man of your life like something like this? Please let us know. I don't really think it's a gender specific piece. I you're really right. think it's just a cool. Yeah, you're right. I think it's cool. 
I but for sure, I could see it in even a little boy's room. Would be oh cute. my gosh, yeah, to hold all of his drinks. Yes, of course, all of his bottles. No, but what I was thinking <laughs> is that something, this piece, you could also cut a top to fit on top of this, which I think we will do, or JR will do. You could put dirty diapers in it. <laughs> no. Put your diaper jean inside of it. <laughs> no. But but what's cool is 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 you could use it. Um, we could put a top on it, and then we've got um, you've got a little landing spot, so you don't have to fill it with stuff like drinks and stuff. You can also then use it as a little. Uh, bar. Excuse say. me, it's Jane Brown's birthday today. Jane She Brown. said she's Route 66. Oh. Well, happy birthday to one of our absolute favorites. Yes. Jane what are you Brown. doing to celebrate? I like it. What do we think? Do we like? Yes. Patty like said in the right place it would be fantastic. What's that? Patty said in the right place it would be fantastic. Yeah. Stephanie said her man would love it. Okay, so so here's the, the cool thing why I chose this piece. It's already got rusted behind it. So I can I could leave this. Yeah, you really could. Um, but I don't want to leave that piece. Denise loves it. Good. So I'm thinking. You know, I'll probably pop it right in there and layer it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll probably leave that. So I like that for the front of it. Um, I do like it. I mean, I think it works. I like the number thing going on here. Um, and then we'll then we'll kind of work over to the side. But yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, let's leave this right where it is. Just flip it over. You can kind of see the shine on that. That's the shellac. So you definitely, if you have some rust going on in the background, you definitely need to. You've got to shellac it. Shellac or use a rust-oleum. Jamie's making bead jewelry necklaces and bracelets and earrings. Nice. Okay. I, Leah said if I was not surrounded by cars five days a week, I would love Oh my it. gosh, maybe the men <laughs> in the shop would love this, Leah. <laughs> and and basically, I'm just going to apply my decoupage medium. I'm using Fusion today. You know, I interchange them. I do. We just want to make sure that it's nice and goopy on there. Gross. Goop, goop, goop. But what's cool about the rice paper is that the, the decoupage medium almost absorbs right up into the paper. But I don't want to overwork it. And and when you're dealing with an uneven surface like this, it's literally, it's just beautiful to work with these rice papers. Yeah. It really is. You poor thing, you're so smushed. Oh, wedged in between these two pieces of furniture. <laughs> you feel like Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> and then a very light coat over it. Now, if I were going to use this on a deck or patio, outdoor, on a porch, you will want to seal this for sure with um, a sealer that's appropriate for outdoors. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Hopefully that helps. I don't think it helps. So you would use, um, you know, like a bar, outdoor varnish of some kind. Give it a few good coats and, and it'll be fine. That was a little piece to piece. We just don't want it in front of the Are you trying to cover up your shoes? No. Um, <laughs> no I was just, just thinking you would want to wheel around and I wanted it out of your way. That's going to look good. I'll just stretch. Who's 
going on vacation this summer? We, or have you already been? Tell us. Well, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the Adirondacks. Great. And I'll be there for a while. The kids will be there in phases. Should Ben still, my brother Ben is going. And his family should be fun. Are you going to Michigan, Mom? Do you know? I don't know. You guys are really late until the last I minute. Know. To I know. I'm telling you. I hope you, you have coverage for the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've been enjoying being at home. The more oh, we yeah. do, the more we do at home, the more I'm loving being there. Like a little staycation kind of thing. I love it. Yes, Leah, I know you're going on that river cruise in, river cruise in October. You keep <gasps> rubbing it in my face. Leah, I did I know this? Oh, I it know sounds good. Where is it? Is it in Europe? No, she's going on the Mississippi River. No, no, no. She's going out of the country. Right. Right, Leah? I've been trying to block it out of my mind. Oh. <laughs> Mary Jo just got back from Minnesota. Minnesota. Stephanie's hoping to reschedule her trip to Iceland soon. I would love to go to Iceland. Oh, what an incredible trip that would be. Excuse me, Peggy is going to Disney for a few days and then on the Disney Wish Cruise. How, excuse me. How dare you, Peggy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did know that. Up the Rhine Basel to Amsterdam. Oh. And then, of course, Mary Jo's taking a road trip to Medina. Yes, you are. That's, well, that's in October. Yeah, it's in October. Well, Leo was talking about October, so okay. it's on topic. Mary Jo, I'm so excited that we're going to get to hang out with you at our retreat. I'm so excited about that. You know what I can't believe is that our pumpkin class is coming up next week. Monday. I know. If anybody's watching and you have not joined in, now's the time. Now if you want to be there live, which is the most fun way to do it, in yes. my opinion. Get your ingredients for your snack and your drink. I'm saying that to myself as well. And um, this, here's the thing, you may have not, you, I, I've gotten messages today, emails, but I haven't gotten the invite. We have mailed them out. If there are some mail servers that are gonna throw our email right into spam. Rude. So, or junk, so you wanna check there. Some of them, if I, I try to only send out like blind carbon copy, like 30 at a time. Um, but still, sometimes they won't let, they will not even accept an email that has that many. But I can't send out like individual emails. So check your spam. Yeah, we will if we have to, if you send us this. Yeah, I'll send you a link whatever again, we can to get you in the whatever's class. gonna work. Sorry, I'm not finding our class in our video workshops oh, yeah, category. It's there. No, it was there. I just sent the link this morning. Um, but it's a big class, and it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I wonder if there. Oh, there we are. Okay, I'll add a link here in the comments. And it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, and we are closing that up probably by Friday. Just because I have got so, I mean, it, it's a lot to like manage to get everybody into that group by Monday. So um, we're done. But you don't, you will also get an edited instructional video. So you don't, yes. don't feel like you have to have all your supplies when you go live exactly. with us or even work on it at all. Just come and have yeah. fun. We always recommend to, um, to, uh, watch it, enjoy the activity in the Facebook group if that's your thing, and then uh, you can always do your project after. Don't try to keep up with what I'm doing in in the work in the Facebook group. Looks cool. Do you think that one spot that you left out does look like it needs something? It okay. does only because it's such a stark line. Yeah, that red and black. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, I'm so glad you got your stuff, Patty. Okay, I've got. See how I've gone crooked here, so I'm gonna very carefully 
lift this. Hopefully I won't tear anything. Jane's holding her breath. Why? Afraid I'm, I'm going to tear it? it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, if anybody's going to be a daredevil with a $30 piece of decoupage paper, it's going to be me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you really do have a lot of flexibility with these papers. And I'm all, I also have to remember that I'm not working on a perfectly flat and even surface here either. So you're saying this wasn't your fault? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying sometimes we got to give ourselves a break. Of right? course. Always. We should always give ourselves a break. Mm -hmm. I love taking breaks. <laughs> Do you now? Giving yourself a break? Giving myself a break, just taking a break, taking a load off, mm -hmm. chilling out. Mm -hmm. I like that. Linda said, you make that look so easy. I always make a hot mess out of mine. What's, what, why, Linda? Why, what's going on? Is everything okay, Linda? Please tell us. How can we help you, Linda? Please, we're here. We're here for you. Hey, Carrie. I'm gonna lift that one more time. Yes, I love to kick back with a dip and a drink, Leah. <laughs> it's when I'm at my happiest. Sorry, I'm trying not to stand in front of you guys. Sorry. Hey, Arlinda. Hi, Arlinda. There is going to be a group for the hymn board project yes. probably in September. September. Yeah, I think the patch is better too. I think it was like a very good concept though. Like I think in a different spot that would have Oh been. yeah, yeah. Now that I'm looking back at it, yeah. for sure. It was just standing out too much. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And you know, when you are composing stuff like this, it's always a good idea to step back and uh, take a look. I kind of squint my eyes sometimes too to see what am I missing? What's do I have any light or dark spots that are standing out to me that I need to address? Lynn said the problem is that she's impatient. I hear you. As far as she said how she makes her the hot mess. Oh, yeah, girl, trust me. She's learning from you though, she said. I, and he said it looks fantastic. I am so, it. oh my gosh, I love that red down there. Yep, it's bad. Oh my gosh, this is great. Okay. Now, let's work on just one of the sides. I am not going to, first of all, you know, rice papers are a little more um, pricey. Um, when you're getting into this size, you're talking about the, the, the price of a transfer or a little bit more. So, um, I'm going to try to be a little strategic in how I layer my piece over here and then work it into this down below. So I'm kind of working around this little um, circular shape here.
said, what is my vision for this? I, I feel like I want to use a little bit of this uh, brick work behind so cool. here. But I also want to be able to use a little bit of this on the other side too. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Mm, Leah said racing stripe would work for a filler spot or license plates. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm really thinking through this, you guys. So I, I kind of like the idea of bringing that brickwork staggered. Mm -hmm. So let's see what that's going to look like first. So, um, I'm going to say like here and here and here and here and here. Let's try that. I will save these bits here to use. Leah, I think you should make one of these for, for the guys. They won't appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, see that? That's cool. That I like that. I want that. And then I can show some of that behind it. Some of the rust. Man, these papers are cool. Cool in a way that I never thought I would like. Yeah. But that I really do like. on a journal with all of these Andy Skinner papers, just some of the, uh, uh, some of the smaller papers. Leah said, I encourage working nose to the grindstone rather than relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I love that. Oh, okay. I, I bet they do work under your watchful eye. Kim has a road trip to Medina on August 12th. Kim! Can't wait. That's right before I leave on vacation, so I'll get to see you. We have a visitor coming next Thursday from somewhere. They're staying overnight so that they can come to visit LJ Goods. I can't remember exactly where she's coming from. What do we think? Yeah, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. Like kind of, or do I bring it over a little and let it? I was like, maybe it's not a bad idea to leave a little of the rust. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, is that cool? That is a really cool paper. And I am going to end it right down here in the middle. I'll play a little bit with this. Um, or maybe I'll just pull it over enough. I'm not going to do the back of this, but I do like, I like some of that rust, original rust from underneath. I want, Everybody's loving it. I want to cover that. Hey, Danielle. Bit of an oval right now, but I like the way that looks. That's, yeah, that's good so to cool. me. Okay. Um, and then I feel like we should just kind of make this blend it down into there into the bottom so again I, I don't want to cover that whole bottom area but I feel like it should what if you were just kind of like having pieces like a few yeah yeah and then rust you know what I mean uh-huh I do almost floating a little bit down like a Tetris block 
Yeah, like just covering some of these and yeah, staggering it do down. You know what I mean by what yeah, I, I do. Yes. Yep, I, I do. I know exactly what you mean. Alina loves rust. Rust is good. Not always. Well, not in the bottom of your car. Leah would tell you, it's never a good thing. Yes, like some of it is worn off. That's right, Leah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to help to save, it's going to extend this paper. Mm -hmm. That's what's really cool, too. So you can get that look of bricks without having to just paste the whole thing on there. Well, and it just has such a cool look underneath. Why not take advantage of that? I would agree. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think that's enough right there. I we'll always see. add. It would be we much harder to always add it. more. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to peel this back and let's get this. There's a little dent in here. Again, another great way to kind of camouflage that. And it's, it's not at all affecting the function of this right. piece. Um, so it's kind of neat that we can, the rice papers truly do just conform to the shape. Linda's asking, did you see my bowl charger plate? No, when did you I send it, Linda? And where did you send it? I want to see. I know I've gotten some things from you through email, maybe in text. Kind of thing it's like oh I hope Andy Skinner is proud when he sees this <laughs> like to see his papers anytime you design something or you create something and see other people using it it's it's just such a kick it really is it gives you quite a thrill promise you oh yeah 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 Again. And for a project this size, you're probably going to use probably a whole container of fusion uh, antique paint or antique paint gel, um, decoupage and transfer medium. But with that rust under there, it almost kind of looks like it was it's part of his industrial design. And you could also, you know, pick a very graphic type of stencil oh, so and, cool. and you could stencil in, pardon me? So cool. You could stencil like kind of in a little bit of areas, but I'm just loving this natural rust finish. Totally. in a flat piece of paper right mm -hmm. here, you know? 
when you're creating a collection of something, you use the same paints, and, and so you do get a very cohesive look to a collection. And that is one of the things that we're gonna be talking about a lot at our retreat in October, is how to create that palette and create a cohesive look. Um, of your own. I think this. so too. I think so too, Maddie. Maybe we'll get the people from cruise night to come around the front of the shop. <laughs> that would be great. Yes, this would be so great. Love. All right. Day. What do we think? Do we? What do we think, guys? I like this side. It's very cool. All right. It's like the light is a little glary, but um, just like I don't want to make people sick by moving the camera around too much. No, I'm going to tip this. Anyway, okay. So. Um, okay, now I can So I'm make sure all of my ends are down, and I'll come back over this again after we're off camera to make sure that I don't have any bubbles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is neat. So wow, cool. wow, wow. That's cool. Oh, Leah said she could bring us some, um, some hubcaps for a bumper or a grill to add to the window. Oh, sure. That would be fun. Yes. And there's our front. But I love the way that, oops, see, I've got a bubble right there. But I want you to see, you guys, if I tear this, with the rice papers, it's so easy, especially with that background underneath. Exactly, it's so easy to make it all fit back together. Especially, really cool. yeah, especially when you're working on this much of a textured background. And I'll come, I'll come through later, and I will. It's hard to tell where it's a dent or a bubble, but that's kind of the point, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna I'll come through later with a razor knife after this dries just to trim this right below that that rim. Really okay, good. so we go from here, how it kind of wrapped and transitioned right around to the brim. And now we've got to create a little bit of a transition over here. So let's see what we have left to work with. We've got a lot of brick, and I think that that's what I'm going to use. I really don't want to open up a whole, I don't want to put a whole other sheet on here. But if I strategically place this, I think it's going to give me that same effect, but keep one side a little more sparse. So let's try that, and then we'll go from there. Would you mind just tipping it back like the way you were? I will. I'm just kind of waiting for that to dry oh, just so a little sorry. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. We probably shouldn't tip it back at all. Right. So let's... Um, I'm just going to... We're going to play with this, but I'm going to sit down and do that. And then we'll take all of our bits and pieces and see how we can make it all kind of blend around to this other side. There's a lot of cool ways you can do it, even with strips like this, okay, that I just found on the floor, which I might work with that as well. Mm, that might be tricky, sure, and it might make it pretty dark and dull. She said... If I were to put this on an old oak dresser, what base colors would be best? I'm thinking a dark charcoal blackish color with maybe mm -hmm. a dark walnut or something top. 
Yes, but underneath your decoupage paper, no matter what paper you use, you want to paint the area that's going to be decoupaged with a white or a light color paint. Sharon, I'll give you links to the papers. Um, I don't have many of the big ones in stock. I would say if you want any of the bigger size, we can order those for you. I have some, but not just so you can oh. get a better look at the colors. She's wondering. Yeah, it's hard to kind of tell what the colors are. But yes, please keep in mind, if you're going to wet this paper and decoupage it over um, paint a, a dark color, you're going to miss all of that beautiful detail. It's going to kind of mute it down a little bit. I made that mistake once when I was, remember at the very first Mint by Michelle uh, dresser that I did? I, I painted it, um, I put it over black, and it's like, oh, I, it didn't even show up. It was awful. Not that well, it was awful. Awful. But, <laughs> but it definitely um, did not give us the vibrancy of the... What's the name of the other paper you use that's not the bricks? Uh, By any chance, is there a sticker or a... Um, I think it's a, there's another one that we can look at. Okay, we have brick wall. Brick wall. We have um, industrial erosion. Mm -hmm. We have boiler room. Ah, that's right. And then I think the other one is just lost me. I've got that one, yep. Industrial erosion. But yeah, save all these pieces and I'll show you how we're going to make all the work on here. Okay. okay, so I'm going to continue. Can you guys see what I'm doing here on the table? I mean, if I zoom in any closer on the table, we're going to lose this, but I can zoom in for a bit and then come back out if you'd like. Yeah, we can do that just to okay. see how I'm prepping all of these. Sorry about the wiggles. This one doesn't exactly have a smooth... No, it doesn't. <laughs> I can't dip. You'd have to like pull it towards you just a little bit. I can't. Uh, there you go. That's a little better. Okay, so again, I, I created like kind of that staggered brick look here. And... truly take advantage and use every bit of this the way that I, in any way that I can. And just create a nice composition. It's all about the composition. Okay, and we've got these little pieces of brickwork that I saved from the other side. And then I'm going to uh, take this black, this dark piece that came from underneath the car, and I'm going to take that edge off. And by doing this, by saving all of these little bits and pieces, especially with, um, with a piece like this that's kind of collaged together, you're using the same paper, so you're bringing color values from one area to another area, and it just makes it all cohesive then. Judy said she just did an old trunk with a tattered and torn Andy Skinner paper. Oh my she gosh. Tore it apart and pieced it back together again. Yes, tattered and torn is so cool. And the Raven. How about the Raven ones? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Okay, are we going back to this? I think so. I just want to. Don't but can I zoom out? Okay. All right, 
let's start putting this together. There's a little rusted out piece there. JR is actually going to fill that with um, a, a strip of metal and some fiberglass. Cool. Yeah. And then you'll decompress over it or no? No, I'll probably just take a little bit of paper and yeah, yeah, that's what, yes, of course I will. <laughs> if you're exactly like, right. no, I'm not going to decoupage over it. I'll probably just take a little bit of decoupage paper, paper and some decoupage gel <laughs> and cover it right up. Leave your mother. <laughs> The joy of these guys. you can take these apart and put them all back together mm -hmm. which I think with tattered and torn who that used seems, that one it was meant to be who um, used tattered and torn let's see. Judy. Uh, I mean which is a paper that looks like it was torn apart and put back together <laughs> hence yeah, the name anyway. tattered and yeah. torn yeah. Wow. Yeah. You should the other side. oh my gosh you like it oh my boy these are the other side is so cool so, can I use that in my man cave that I don't have? Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I make man cave so I can have Oh, yeah, you sure can. No. All right, I'm leaving. See so, ya. Yeah. So, you got. Oh, you're making it. said the bare spots would make it very different. I'll take him with me. The bare spots would what? That, that makes it look very authentic. The huh? bare spots? Yeah, I think so too. And again, it, it enables you to utilize that piece of that one piece in different places around around the whole cooler. Mm -hmm. I think you can make a cool window around that. Mm -hmm. I said maybe it'll get the cruise nights people to come around the front of the shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We really should. We should change out that other window in front and and. Um, do something like this that would be that would be fun because don't we have super cruise coming soon in august in august it is yeah. and the stuff is still there and then they can park their car and use the four hours between then and when cruise night starts to maybe walk on main street take a peek what's going on? Else so they can't park. <laughs> yeah. We love cruise nights. I don't want to make it seem any other way. We just would love it if it was somewhere else. <laughs> Nothing like working all day, getting out at five, and having seven old men with their arms crossed watching you back out of your spot <laughs> around all of their... Priceless old relics. You mean themselves or their wives? Of all of it. Their cars or their wives. Yeah. How many times have I just unrolled my window and held my keys on and said, Would you like to do this? I am in hell. <laughs> I, I think what we need to do is go park our cars just like they park their oh cars. My, they park them all wonky. Well, the opposite. People are coming down the wrong way of the street. I'm sweating. And I'm like, my mommy and daddy own this building. I have every right to be here. <laughs> no, they don't want me to touch their cars. And they want my spot, Leah. Like, Leah I'm the one in the wrong place. Leah needs to bring her car down. I know. I don't want to touch their cars, Leah. I don't even want to lay eyes on them. Is she going to take us off her ride on Friday? I know. I love Leah's car so much. That's so cool. That caught my eye. Mm -hmm. Did it catch yours, Chance? Oh, Chance would love to ride in a convertible. <laughs> He'd love to go for a ride with Leah, wouldn't he? <laughs> Leah, I was, you and Chance need to go for a nice ride sometime. He would, he'd love it. He would be sitting up in that seat just like, 
Yeah, baby. Yeah. The only thing worse <laughs> than those old men, the, Jane, the wind. are the ones who like to watch my husband back in his camper. <laughs> Wait a From their lawn chairs with their arms crossed. <laughs> back in the back. <laughs> Nothing a man loves more than trying to direct his wife, who's terrible at that, <laughs> in front of every man in the campground who's come around to observe. So true. Oh my gosh. All right, what do we think, guys? What do you think? stay married through that, you can really make it through this about anything. Do we want to add no. this? No. I have to fix that. Yeah, you're right. Honestly, I think it's done. Yeah. Okay, so let's take it, let's give it a little spin around. Okay, let's so see for spin. <laughs> I want you to see, look at that nice deep sink, and it has a fully intact drain and hose underneath. I think this needs a wood top on it. That's just what I was yeah. going to say. And so here's our front. It'd make a cool bar. It would. And then here's our little, our other side. Rad, Mom. Well done. But, oh, there's one thing that has to be done here. I just feel like this has got to be... Carried around. Just here and there. I don't want it to... Um, so you're not doing the back back? No, I'm not doing the back back. Nope, I don't like that. I don't either. Nope. Done. And when we line, yeah, yeah, when we seal it all, we'll seal up that back as well. Yeah. But um, I, yeah, this is cool. This that is a great, was a great, really piece. cool. Less than an hour transformation. Yeah, mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys, there it is. Something for the man cave, or as Megan said, it could be for any cave. Any cave, as long as it's a cave. Yep. And um, I see a little bit right there. <laughs> that we need to just paste over. Hey, JR. Hi. Oh, no. You know what? Maybe let's see if this will work. Can't be patient. Right there. Do I do that? It's okay. I can't even tell what it looked like before you did that. It was just it's, a little... It was just plain. Oh. No, I say leave it. I le leave it like that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It really just mimics like to the right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. It could go either way. Yeah, I think it's. I think the reason it didn't work before is because there was a straight line. There was down. a straight line. That down. looks yeah. very good naturally. Yeah, I, think. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good. All right. Well, so well, cool. Well done. There you go, guys. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining us here again. Listen, sign up for that um, fall pumpkin class if you haven't yet, so you can be there live with us. It's going to be so, so fun. Monday and Tuesday over on Facebook. Oh, I can't wait. But we'll um, see you for Fun Friday. We will see you for Fun Friday. It'll be our last of our um, Christmas in July, and I am, I'm going to be doing uh, some paint blending on a beautiful piece. But don't you worry, we'll have more Christmas to come. Guess what I thought of today that we should have been doing all month, sending candy canes with your order. Oh. So that's what we'll do next year. Next year we'll do that. Um, once I get this loaded, um, I'll go back tomorrow. Um, I will add all the links down below in the description box. There's that little arrow you push. And um, I will put the links to the products that we used. And then also do us a favor, if you love seeing this kind of thing, be sure to subscribe, leave us a comment, and um, give us a thumbs up so you can always see what we're up to here at l j Goods. You don't want to miss a thing, I promise. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye. That was fun. <laughs>